A very warm welcome, dear students. Finally, the examination dates have arrived and you're very close to your dream destination. So what is that you need to do in the very last minute, last few days? What are the things which you need to do so that your success is destined? First and foremost, stay healthy and stay positive. Examination day, we cannot compromise on our health. Eat light, eat nutritious food, have vitamins that will keep you energetic all the while. So, next few days, you have to have only all the healthy food. Drink a lot of water, keep yourself hydrated, have very good sleep, no hurry, no late night hours. Sleep well and keep yourself positive. Don't worry, take a chance. This I have not studied, that I have not studied. This is not the time for all those. You have done reasonably well for the last two years. You have thrown in most of the chapters and that is sufficient. This is not 100% scoring examination. So whatever you have prepared is sufficient and that will give you success in the examination. So be confident, be positive. Whatever your strong areas are, just focus on them and that will give you success. Remember, there are students who have done extremely well in their two years of preparation, but last examination day, they come out. And there are other students who were average throughout their preparation, but just because of their confidence and positive attitude and the psychology with which they crack during the hours, very important on your day, even Harbhajan can get it essential. Okay, so for that you need to have the attitude and that will make you succeed. And next day is quick recap of homelet. Now don't venture into learning new chapter. Whatever you have learned last two years is sufficient. And just what you need to do is revise all the important formulae from various chapters. Chapters of physics and in chemistry you can just look at all the important reactions, whatever is quick synopsis which you have jotted down on a piece of paper or a quick summary notes you have made for yourself. It is a time where you just need to focus on those summary notes. Then boost your strengths. All of you have some strong areas. For some people it is mathematics, for some people it is physics, some people it is chemistry and some parts of mathematics, some parts of physics and some parts of chemistry. These are the ones which will give you your dream score and this is the time where you have to reinforce that confidence on your strong chapter. So quickly gain that confidence on the strong chapters, just go through them, go through all the model questions, whatever are possible and reinforce that confidence formula by formula, method by method, problem by problem and this will give you very high confidence levels on your preparation. Absolutely not in time to start new things. No new chapters now, no new areas now. Whatever you have already prepared and whatever you are already thorough, just focus on those areas. Don't touch any new area in these two cases. And again, no mock test in last two days. No mock test should be given in the last two days. And your circadian rhythm, that is our body gets accustomed to working in certain hours of the clock. So our 24 hours we will not be active. Part of the day we will be very active. So examination time is the most important time where you need to be active. So even before the examination, keep a routine for yourself that you will be working hard and getting the best between 8 to 1 and then again from 2 to 6. So if you energetically prepare in these hours, automatically during the examination, your energy levels will be very high. So make this a part of your routine for even the days before the examination so that while you are writing the examination, you are highly energetic. Okay, sleep through the night, 
completely sleep through the night, gain all your energy for giving effective preparation between 8 to 1 and 2 to 6. Or if you, uh, your already slot is known, afternoon slot or morning slot, see that the energy levels are even more higher in your own slot. That is what you need to do. No mock tests before the examinations. Just glance through any question papers or whatever you have done previously. Just glance through them and see what all areas you have to remember or recall. Then, before the examination, just warm up with one or two known questions. You might have observed, initial part of the examination will be slow, starting slowly. It will be slightly sluggish. And slowly the pace picks up and from the next 15 minutes, first 15 minutes will be slowly sluggish and 15 minutes onwards, our pace gradually picks up and we are at a very high pace towards the end of the examination. So to just save some time, even before going to the examination hall, you can warm up on 2-3 questions. And every day before the examination, try working some numericals so that your calculation speed and everything is intact. Okay, if you give a break on doing the calculations, suddenly recharging ourselves will take time. So, even during your preparation, do some new, no numericals, evaluate the answers, calculate the answers that will give you speed in your calculation. What you need to do during the examination is evenly distribute the time. Evenly means mathematics papers are little lengthy. So, the ballpark figure around mathematics is around 75 and then around 65 minutes for your physics and chemistry doesn't involve much of calculations. So, 40 minutes for chemistry would suffice. However, there can be 5 minutes here and there fluctuations depending on your strengths. Let the chemistry use a strong area. You can invest a little more time there. Math is little your strong area, but you need a little more time to finish it off. Maybe 80 minutes in mathematics. So, somewhere 5 minutes here and there is fine. So 75 minutes for math, 65 minutes for physics, and 40 minutes for chemistry is the average. Uh, 40 minutes for chemistry is the average ballpark. So plan your timing around that. There is no right strategy starting with math or starting with physics or starting with chemistry. Whatever work for you well, stick to that. You might have given a lot of mock tests and some strategy would have worked for you well. Stick to that same strategy. There is no general strategy that only this order will give you the maximum marks. But whatever area you are strong with, it is preferable to start there. Okay. And what should be your plan during the examination? Papers are not uniform. Some papers are tough, some papers are easy, some papers are moderately difficult. So, you need to have all three plans ready. What will you do when the papers are easy? When the papers are easy, because it is a relative performance, scoring will automatically be high. So what you need to do? Focus on your speed and accuracy. Speed is by quite efficient whenever the papers are easy. So you need to know more number of questions than your average attempt. Slightly more number of questions than your average attempt. So speed and accuracy will be very important when you see that the papers are easy. When the papers are difficult, don't get worried. They are difficult for everybody and relative performance is what matters. So even in a very difficult paper, it will be visible that there are a lot of easy questions. So here carefully picking the questions will become very important. So you have to focus on your accuracy. Whatever easy questions are there, pick them and accurately. You cannot take a chance of missing or not take a chance of making a mistake there. So, accurately solve all the easier questions. So, whenever the paper is tough, two important things are choosing questions, choice of questions and accuracy. These two will become important. So, don't get worried about your speed much. Carefully choose the questions and accurately solve. When papers are moderate, balanced, then just focus on accuracy and Probably solving the questions. That will don't waste your time anyway. Average any given day, you should not spend more than four minutes on a question. 
So whenever you are spending four minutes on a question, even you are on the verge of getting the solution, flag the question, move on to the next section, next question, next section, and then once you have done with everything, you can come back. It can easily happen that towards the end there are some easy questions. You cannot miss them. So you have to glance through the entire paper. Don't st get stuck at any question. Four minutes or five minutes if you are taking, just have a sip of water, calm yourself. No worry. Losing one question or two questions or ten questions will not affect. Average around 60% marks will still get your seat in an ID. So don't worry about them. Just relax and with full energy move on to the next part of the examination. So whenever you are bugged up in the examination or stuck with a question, give it up. Don't worry, tag it, give it up. You can come back to it at the end of the examination. Have a sip of water, take a deep breath and ease yourself and continue with great energy. And see the picture of your dream colleges through the examination. So that happily you get motivated through the examination and you do wonderfully well. So keep that positive energy through the three hours of examination. And I wish you all a very best of luck. I'm sure you will all do well. And subscribe to the channel. We will also be coming up with solutions of the examinations and more stuff related to counseling and everything. Be tuned. All the very best.